Today we're off to Manus Marine to upgrade Cavu's anchor. This is Patricia and I'm Dave. During the summer of 2020, we traveled to French Polynesia for a sailing vacation. We had such a great time that we decided to buy a sailboat when we returned. Our new Jeannot Sun Odyssey 440 arrived in April of 2021. Watch as we outfit and upgrade Cavu, learn to sail first on the Texas coast, but eventually the world. Manus Marine is located in Houston, Texas, so it's a convenient stop for us since Cavu is just down the road. You purchased from them before, and you're always going to get greeted by Fluky. All right, Cavu's getting an upgrade. We've got this Mantis Bridal. We got this big clip for mooring balls. And we've got a swivel for the anchor. And we got a new 15 pound, 55 pound M2 anchor. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's been working. Woohoo! So we got the anchor box up here in the cockpit we're running out of time today to do the full install but we can at least assemble the actual anchor so let's see what's in the box all right this is a really nice it's really substantial box it's wood mostly um some hardware I guess these are instructions. Okay. I think I'm going to need your knife, sweetie. Uh, I'm going to attempt to assemble this anchor. Um, taking the anchor shank and the anchor fluke. And. in the front got a hole going straight through there and okay so that was step negative one <laughs> uh, step zero is to grease this and they give you a little grease packet all right step zero got the uh, hex bolt greased I'm going to come up this way, put it through the hole, and then step two is the aluminum one. So put the aluminum bushing in. Oh boy, there it goes. And then put the Fender washer, that's step three, uh, step four, the locker washer, put that on top, and then the spring lock, and you put it with the spikies pointing up, because you got to get a cotter pin in there. Starting to get tricky. 
there. Alright. Now I'm gonna need the heavy duty tools. We got the 15 16th on here. It has a little chart that tells you what size anchor has what size uh, wrench is needed. There, now it's working good. It's really tight. Lives are depending on it. Hope I can find a little spot to put the cotter pin in. It's all greased up. Let's see. Oh no, I think I need to tie. I can see, I think the little hole's right where one of those spikes. All right, all tight. And now I've got to put in the cotter pin. Okay. Should I bend it just back? Yeah, just bend it back. There you go. Oh, look, it does want to separate. But you want me just to keep it all together? ready now it's time to put the swivel on the anchor so let's see what's in the box we have some instructions here of how to put the swivel together some wire cotter pins tape the actual swivel the anchor's attached here, and then a chain's attached here. And they call this the collar, the pin, the actual swivel part. And these pieces come together, apart. You gotta tape them together. Okay. So let's put this back in here. This on top. There. Okay. And then here's the anchor shackle. So I'll put this down, swivel down, and work on taking this apart. And I've got to put this through here, shackle through there. Over here. Okay. Where is that wrench? Okay, now I gotta tighten it with the wrench. Yeah. All right. So I'll, uh, there is a hole in this for a wire, and I will put the wire in it and wire it to the shackle. So this is where we're at today. We've got the swivel on the anchor, uh, but we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to get the anchor put on our chain. All right, so the, uh, the hard part's over. We turned the boat around in a slip we barely fit in. Uh, let me give you, a, give you an idea when I say barely fit. That's our bow sticking over the edge. Here's our stern. I guess tied off pretty tight. Trying to stay off of that. That's how close it is. So, uh, trying to find a, a bigger slip, but 
Uh -huh. This is what we got to work with right now. All right, so uh, Juno came with uh, this uh, Lamar Delta Anchor 45 pounds. First thing we found we had a problem with was this little fitting. I thought I could use a 3 8 drive and get it out. I was wrong. So, went to a friend of mine and he actually made this tool uh, to fit. And so that's what we're going to use. size comparison and the shape so they got mantis has got these pointy little parts right here and this is more like a, just a heart shape so i feel like this would also help dig in and yeah, it's kind of an inverse brown look <laughs> yeah so yeah you know the other big thing is the Wait. swivel which is really going to help us. So Dave's marked the chain every 20 feet. <laughs> and you don't have those. You got uh, to take the bull by the horns. Just take the down bull here. By the this is the cleanest the anchor locker has been since uh, Kevin was brand new. Just spent the last. Uh, uh, 20 30 minutes cleaning it. So, put the uh, coupler on first. We've already taped, so the chain is held in place with this pin. Coupler just holds it like that. Now we'll safety wire this together. So we're going to go through it and stick out about that far, and then we're going to go back through. back through one more time. that clip it off and just bend it down so we're going to do that on the other side as well so that's the Wired up product. Swivel works great. So I think we're ready to uh, get it on the boat. Take it slow. slow. It's 
should keep going like that. All right, keep going. All right, it's coming up to the roller. All right. Awesome. There it is. Fits in there really nice. It's stuck right on here. We, like we definitely couldn't go any bigger than this. Okay, moment of truth. So we anchored out here for lunch. We thought that uh, Dredge Island would give us a little bit of shelter from the ship channel, but uh, we got about 15, 16 knots of wind blowing. Uh, it's, it's blowing on pretty good. We got these nice rollers coming in off the ship channel and uh, the anchor seems to be holding. Uh, we're pretty pleased with it. So it's a successful first test. All right, so we're heading back in now. Got a nice downwind sail going. Uh, did a little lunch anchor out. Uh, wasn't ideal anchoring conditions. No. <laughs> we had uh, 20 knots of wind. Yeah. Uh, really not a protected anchorage. Uh, rolling probably three foot seas. And uh, it was, uh, it held great. Yeah. Ate lunch, got a little sun. Uh, and now we're on our way back in. I think the uh, Mantis M2 is, it's a winner. Yeah. And we would recommend it based on what we just saw today. Yeah. Now we're going down to Offutt's in two weeks and we'll anchor out there. And it's uh, a real muddy bottom. We'll see how it does in the mud. <laughs>